welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some breakfast inspiration. I'm going to be sharing with you some really quick, easy and healthy breakfast ideas that are perfect for kids and adults as well. And most of them you could do from meal prep to make your mornings even quicker. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day and I love to give my boys food that I know is gonna keep them full to lunchtime and give them loads of energy. So I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and let's get into it. So first off, I wanted to show you how I make the boys protein pancakes. I have shared this recipe before, but this is such a go-to healthy, easy breakfast that they all love. So I wanted to make sure it was also in this video. So all I do is blend up two eggs, a whole banana, a teaspoon of baking powder, and then a big tablespoon of almond butter. I just add the almond butter in to just pack it full of a bit more protein, and then I whiz it all up on my Nutri Ninja. I tend to make this batter at night and then store it in this container, and it keeps in the fridge really well. A lot of the time, we'll make like double or triple this batter and then just keep it in the fridge because Matt also loves these. I love them as well. And then I just fry a little bit of coconut oil in a frying pan and then I'll just do about three pancakes each time. These are quite thin compared to like traditional American style pancakes, but if you stack them up, uh, they won't even notice. And they're basically like banana omelets, but they're so delicious. This is also a great way to get eggs into your child if they don't like the texture of scrambled eggs. And then what I do is top the pancakes with berries and of course, maple syrup and the boys love this. They think it's such a treat and I'm happy because it's healthy and they're full up. Next up, I thought I'd show you the boys' favorite muffin recipe. These are apple and banana muffins, and they loved these when they were weaning as babies, but they still love them now, and I eat them too. They're so easy to make, and I make them mini for little hands, but you could also make them full size. These are great as well to do for meal prep. You can make these before, put them in the fridge or freezer, and just pull them out when you need them. And I tend to serve a couple of these on the side of like some fruit or cereal or toast like a bit more of a breakfast but anyway in one bowl I've mixed together the dry ingredients which was flour baking powder and a little bit of sugar and then in another bowl I'm just mixing up all of the wet ingredients which is milk egg melted butter and some vanilla extract I will of course put all of the recipes in the description so don't panic um, if you're trying to follow along with this I will put it down there if you want to make these at home but anyway then you mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients together and then I add one grated apple and one mashed banana to the batter and then I just mix that together. You could also add in some cinnamon or some raisins or some chocolate chips if you wanted to make it more of a treat. Uh, but yes, once that's all mixed together, I just put it into the mini muffin tray. You could use paper cases for this or I just tend to grease the tray and they pop out really easily. And yeah, you can make them in big batches and it will last you a little while. These are also great for snacks as well. And yes, the boys really like it I think out of all the recipes like muffins that I've tried they really like these ones sometimes the easiest thing to give your children though is cereal so I thought I would just show you some of the best ones of course porridge is an obvious choice sticks to your ribs keeps you full up till lunchtime so I am going to show you how I make porridge Weetabix of course is also a great one it's perfect for weaning it's all green you can see it right on the package it has such a low amount of sugar in it for cereal as well and you can dress it up with fruit to make it a bit more exciting for kids and shredded wheat is also a really good one all it is is literally a hundred percent whole grain wheat that is it it's all green as well you can see it there on the packaging and yes when you look at the ingredients list that's it, just wheat. <laughs> and of course, you can dress it up with fruit as well. Ready Break is also a great one, but my kids haven't really had that since they were weaning. Yes, but anyway, this is how I make porridge. You can, of course, get instant oats as well and just do that in the microwave, which is really quick and easy. But I tend to do a third cup of oats, 
per person and then a cup of milk and you can do any milk you want cow's milk coconut milk almond milk whatever you have um, I'm gonna do coconut milk today so I'm just gonna measure out a cup and then I'll just stir that on medium heat until it is ready and then you can top it with fruit with nuts you can even stir in some almond butter to just give it a little bit more protein and my kids love a little bit of maple syrup on top or when I was little I used to love brown sugar on top of porridge so yeah you can go crazy with toppings and if you can get your kids to like porridge this is such a good one because it just keeps them going at school it releases energy slowly over time next up I'm going to show you how to make these delicious egg muffins these are great for adults and kids as well and you can batch cook these so you can make a load of them and then keep them in your fridge or freezer and pull them out when you need them so today I'm whisking up six eggs and that should make about eight egg muffins I'm also going to season it with some salt and pepper and then I'm going to put in some pre-cooked crispy bacon that I'm just going to chop up using my kitchen scissors and then I'm also going to put in some chopped up spinach but if your children don't like green things you can put whatever you want into these you can put cheese or ham or tomato or whatever they like you can even have them plain they're also great for weaning um, as long as there's not like chunks like this in it you can give this to babies while they're weaning and they're super simple to make you basically just put all the ingredients into a greased muffin tin like this and they do rise when they're cooking so I don't put the egg right up to the top but I normally also put cheese on top especially if it's for the kids because all my kids love cheese and I do as well to be honest um, but yeah these are really yummy and healthy and you can pre-make them and basically just put whatever you want into them and then you just stick them into the oven for about 20 minutes until they're looking like golden brown and then yes enjoy next up I thought I'd show you a breakfast drink that Jackson has been loving lately it's an avo coconut milkshake all you do is blend half an avocado with some coconut milk and then a little bit of cocoa powder as well you can add more to make it look more like a chocolate milkshake but Jackson really likes this he drinks it all down so I thought it was worth sharing and then my last idea was egg and soldiers um, if you haven't tried this definitely do what I do is just boil the eggs in water for five to six minutes so that the yolk is still soft and then I'll do some toast cut them into soldiers and then draw little faces on the eggs the boys think it looks like Humpty Dumpty and sometimes I'll do a face like it doesn't want to be hurt you know you got to get creative with kids and then we cut their heads off and they think they're eating their brains you know um, but anyway they really like that obviously you should do the cutting that is going to be very dangerous for them um, but yeah then they can just um, do like dippy eggs right so that's it for this video I really hope you enjoyed these ideas let me know in the comments which was your favorite and if you have any other recommendations I would love to hear them thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye